next time you're looking for a little escape, maybe some relaxation and a delicious meal, we have got the perfect place for you. Today we are checking out Bath House in Williamsburg. We think of Bath House as a home for people to look, feel, and perform their very best. So we took the things that have been working in bath houses for thousands of years and we try to bring it into a beautiful and high touch service environment. What inspired this? Work? Well, we're both really into fitness and nutrition and uh, we felt like there was something missing in the recovery space to kind of match what was happening in the rest of the performance space. What are some of the kinds of experiences that people can have when they come here? We have three pools, hot, cold, and thermo neutral. Two different kinds of saunas, Scandinavian and tropical heated marble hammam, steam room, but we also have a full range service menu. All of our services, like our massages for example, are all high functional modality, performance oriented massages. So that means we do a sports massage, so that is deep tissue, some acupressure, some stretching, and a little bit of myofascial release work. It's designed to actually help you perform and feel better when you leave. Is there an order that we should go through experiencing this? There's a really no rules to the bathhouse. I'll give you the bathhouse basic. So start off in the steam room, open your pores up, open up your sinuses, then 15 minute minimum in either sauna of your choice, straight to the cold plunge. It's all about just catching your breath. And then from there, just bathhouse. The only rule is that everybody down here has to be in a bathing suit. If they don't want to bring one, we do sell them. We have a great retail selection of bathing suits. And then everything outside the locker rooms is co-ed. We provide slippers for everybody, and we provide robes for people dining in the restaurant. So if people want to go upstairs right after they're done, all they have to do is throw on a robe, and they can sit down for a meal. I love that. It's so casual. So we are here. Is this called the bathhouse restaurant? You got it. It's the restaurant at the bathhouse. What do you serve here? It's modern composed versions of traditional bathhouse food from around the world. Like the borscht, for example, but we wanted to do a modern sort of New York version of it. This is our grain bowl with pastrami salmon on top, our duck egg in the bone broth. This is our confit duck leg with spetzel, our steak tartare, and this is our smoked trout toast. I love that you can come up here in your robe and just enjoy a meal or a cocktail and then just go back downstairs and revisit. That is super cool. Speaking of cocktails, you were very excited about that. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, so this is the uh, Bloody Mary Martini. All the features of a Bloody Mary, but the martini form with the house-infused peppercorn horseradish vodka. It's pretty wild. And then this is a spur, which is like a spicy margarita. Do you need to be bathing in order to experience the restaurant? We take walk-ins as well, so you can come off the street if you just feel like coming to the restaurant, or you can visit the restaurant as part of your bathhouse experience. <laughs> So if people want to come experience the baths, what are ways we can do that? People can buy day passes, $50 during the week and $65 on the weekends. It's a really good idea to make reservations on the weekends just because we get quite busy. Well, thank you guys so much for a relaxing and delicious day. I can't wait to come back.